All right, guys, I'm here with a very brief introduction to array formula in Google Sheets. So what I'm going to explain is the way this works is you can make where you have a formula in each cell and you can use an array formula to apply that to the entire column. And so we're going to go ahead and delete this for right now. And so if you can take a look, let's just look at this top one for a moment. What we're doing is just combining first name and last name with a space in between. So let's go ahead and delete this. And then I'm going to open up my array formula. And then all we need to do is instead of that C3, we're going to add a colon in C. And then we're going to use our ampersand to combine. And then we're going to add our blank space and then D3 to D. And then as we hit enter, we can see it automatically fills all the way down. And if we look down below, we do not have a formula down below. Now, one thing to keep in mind, if you've not used array formulas or formulas like this before, if we try to click in here or fix something in here, we're going to wind up with this ref error. And if you um, see that happen, if you scroll up to the top, maybe uh, this happened down below here. Um, and you come in and you see this ref error. What you can do is just hover over it and it's going to tell you where that error is. So it says array result is not expanded because the row of write data in E85. And so all we got to do is scroll down to E85, find it here, delete, and now it's filling again. That's a quick troubleshooting tip right there. And then to wind this up, we're just going to do some math over here on this side. And so our net profit and our margin. So our net profit in this case is going to be our total sale minus postage cost and minus the line item cost. So let's go ahead and turn this into array formula. So array formula. And then if you're tracking with me, you're probably going to guess where it's going to go. I'm going to start with that H3 and then go all the way down. And one thing to note is if you have, haven't really used Google Sheets before, uh, and just use Excel, you may be wondering why there's no end reference and in Google Sheets, you don't have to do that. So in this case, we're not going to because we don't have anything below. So then we're just going to do minus and then we're going to do our K3 and then minus our L3. So like that and boom, we're done. It fills all the way down. So finally, let's go ahead and do our margin. And so our margin here, the what we're doing is our net profit off of our line item total. And so that will be easy enough to do here. We're going to do array formula. And then all we got to do is our M3 divided by I3. And there we go. We have our array formulas in place and feeding our sheet. All right, guys. Thanks very much for watching this brief introduction to array formula. Hopefully, um, you can check out our other videos on both Google Sheets and AppScript. If this video is helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe so you get notified when we drop new videos. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. See you soon.